Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Weglars. I feel like eight cats isn't enough. Maybe she like 12, 15? I Steph, like that? All right, yeah. Steph says yes. All right, yes. <laughs> 15 cats. All right, we have some rain to get to here the next couple of days, mainly starting Friday night and lasting through Saturday, the heaviest rain. And to that end, the National Weather Service has yet again issued a fl uh, flood watch, for that matter, for the entire region. That's both northern New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire. And breaking down the storm headlines here, our temperatures do climb higher. Tomorrow and through the weekend, we're talking about highs back in the 60s, close to 70. The rain does arrive mainly Friday afternoon and Friday evening through Saturday. And then with the rain and the snow melt, we do have to talk about some river flood concerns here going forward, even some flash flooding for that matter as well. We have had our first round of rain push through the last couple of hours here. Still seeing some raindrops in Storm Tracker, a few strokes of lightning in and around the Northeast Kingdom. Adam reports some lightning in Greensboro, but the main round, the first round is beginning to work its way through the second plume of moisture. This is just ahead of a cold front out of the Great Lakes is going to slowly drift its way towards the east and this steadier, huge, massive area of tropical moisture racing out of parts of Alabama and Mississippi. This will also begin to work its way into our region as we go through the day on Saturday. So a lot more rain to get to here, mainly not so bad to start things off tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s, mainly cloudy. A few breaks of sunshine, though, for a number of us. In fact, on Futurecast here, we stop the clock tomorrow morning. You can see some of these breaks of sun here, mainly across portions of central and even southern Vermont. Still cloudy in the Champlain Valley. Then the cold front gets closer. Now, we have seen some changes to Futurecast here, thinking more in the way of some downpours and perhaps rumbles of thunder tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, especially across the Seaway Valley. But look at this. Saturday night, some very, very heavy rain denoted by these shades of oranges and reds. Steady rain in the Champlain Valley points west, and this continues to lift through parts of central and eastern Vermont. Now, Saturday morning starts off soggy for many of us, and it's still raining as we go through Saturday afternoon. In fact, we think we'll still see some downpours across eastern Vermont as we go through the evening hours on Saturday into early Sunday morning. So when we add up all the rain, both Friday night and Saturday, we're thinking an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain, a ton of rain, especially across the Northeast Kingdom through the Champlain Valley and even the Adirondacks as well. So we're thinking heavy rain and river flooding are the highest impacts. However, flash flooding is also a concern, especially across some of the smaller streams and rivers, particularly in the higher elevations. This is a list of some of the rivers here we're closely watching. We'll break down the Pasumsic River forecast cresting close to 19 feet. That would be major flood stage by Sunday morning and the Pemigewasset in Plymouth. Very similar situation cresting at 20 feet. This is one forecast moderate flood stage as we go into Sunday. Highs tomorrow though really nice. Temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s across southern Vermont. So the five day forecast again rain tomorrow. We have the alert icon on Saturday for the duo duo rather of heavy rain and river flooding. We'll cool things off for the middle of next week. Temperatures back into the middle 50s, but a really nice forecast. All things considered, plenty of sunshine. So after we get through the soggy mess that is this weekend, it looks pretty nice next week. <laughs> the soggy mess, though, yeah. and the flooding. Oh, not, okay. not a fan.